welcome with me to hit leg day let's go first day on the channel guys <laughs> welcome to the voiceovers here i am doing some you know them honey curls you know what i mean yeah let's remind myself that a bit of my ass cheeks are literally on show right now now bear in mind i haven't done barbell squats in a long time this is 90k as you can tell it fucking felt like i was gonna drop this but good friend help me Hack squat, like, look at that fire expression. It was absolutely boring, so thank the Lord that the bloody gate was open. As you can tell, I look absolutely flabbergastic. Yep, went for one more rep. There we go. Good on you, gal. We did this. Oh, and another one. And another one. There we go, gal. There we go. You rest. Yep, we went in for another set. Yep, here is 40. We're still getting used to this machine. I'm not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell, my face shows it all. I absolutely love these. Yep, you can see I enjoy these. This is not my first video I'm doing for my YouTube account. I've just finished the gym. Um, I'm walking home. Look at that lovely glow. Um, it's called sweat, so... <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out or not. Uh, what to expect after this vlog is um, it's just basically like a round of my prep and my journey basically. So basically, I've been training for about three years. Um, my main reason for getting into this was for losing weight. It's not now about losing weight. Um, finally got into like something I really enjoy so it's the bodybuilding um kind of way i wanted to do so yeah so yeah i do this nice little walk this is where i live you're not going to see where i exactly live but yeah it's where i live in birmingham but uh yeah i will continue this video when i'm actually at home where i can answer a couple of more questions but welcome to the channel expect to see me very sweaty from walking from the gym. So as you can imagine, it's a lot later in the night um, from the previous video that I did. So I thought I'd hop back on. It's about, just gone 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> so this is gonna be a really late upload. So sorry for the first video. So we're just gonna go through a couple of things to be honest. But yeah, um, I'll throw a couple of facts about me. So. I'm Kay, I, um, I live in Birmingham, as you probably could tell. <laughs> um, I try not to find your gym. Um, but I just describe it, I call it like a bodybuilding gym, because a lot of it is like machines everywhere, and it's quite all right. I do need to check out some other um, body gyms like Dino's um, and others around uh, Birmingham itself. So uh, yeah, I just need to expand out there really. Um, I don't know how to pose yet for what I want to go into, which is figure. But come October time, I want to see what my condition my condition is like, and then I'm going to start posing and practicing for next year. I'm hoping to get on stage next year by about May time, so I've got myself quite a nice, quite a nice um box to power of eleven months. Um, of prepping for that so yeah this is what you're going to prepare for you're going to get every side of emotions and everything on this channel so feel free to stay tuned on it so this is like my first week into prep and there's a couple of changes that i've had um within myself and like within my diet and within my training and i'm gonna answer a couple of questions that probably people will ask <laughs> so is there anything that i'm scared of during my whole prep so yeah there is there's, there's loads of things i'm scared of there's um because i've got polycystic ovaries i my periods are going to stop at some point and you know i'll get married in two years and want a baby shortly after so i am a little bit scared that my periods may take a little bit longer to come back around um there's things of what if like um anything happens in the near future of my health or anything like that that's that 
that's one thing that scares me towards this is the fact that if there's anything that gets in the way of my training i think it's it, it's horrible i don't want it to happen um if i'm not comp ready is one of them as well because I want to put so much into this and if I get to the point where I'm not comp ready, I think it would really upset me but we're 12, we've got a 12 month plan so it will all work out in the end. Um, adapting to the changes that um, I've done is been a little bit challenging so like I used to have like three teas a day with sugar in and everything like that and that seems actually quite a lot but um that was like one of the big changes as well like i don't have anything caffeine really um unless you class a protein shake worth your caffeine but that's that's it really um i don't have caffeine i don't really have any sugar i don't have milk i don't really have enough i don't really have dairy either so yeah there were two big challenges i'd say to my diet that i've made is no sugar not a lot of dairy um constantly drinking pop and water no added sugar low sugar um pop to keep me going it's just one of the things one of them changes um the one thing that's um been a change for me is buying clothes um i can't seem to fit right in certain trousers anymore um upper body isn't too bad to be honest but i'd say my bottom half has probably been the worst because it can either get over my legs and then not around my waist or it can't get on my legs but then i know it would fit my waist but yeah that's um that's one of the things that i'd say i find really annoying at the precise moment is the fact that i can't fit into certain jeans and it's expensive so I've got plenty of jeans I've bought and they just don't fit. I had to return or they haven't been returned or I've gone on vintage and it's just, it's a really long process. And like I've got such a big wardrobe already, we won't even get involved in that. Um, my current partner, um, he's like away for work quite a lot. I won't go into full detail of that, but he is, um, he's part of like the, um, the forces and whatnot. So I don't particularly see him a lot, but he is like really supportive of everything. Um, the one thing that I'd say to him is like, is he comfortable with the fact that I'm going into all of this and he's 100% uh, behind my back. And that's one thing I'm really grateful for because he's really supportive. And uh, yeah, I think I think you have to be if, it's, if he knows how much I love this anyway. And it's not just to what I just do on a regular basis, it's now my life. <laughs> Um, the other thing is obviously I have a lot of questions about is when I get married, am I comfortable with how my body will look on my wedding day photos? Absolutely. Um, I don't find anything wrong with it. If I look more muscular and, or anything like that, like it doesn't particularly um, bother me that much. Um, I might not be as defined, I don't know. I will be taking a break um, the year I get married because I want to relax for a bit and try for a baby. So. I have to put a lot of pro I have to put that pressure off um in my head for comp. Um I'd still be training, even with even pregnant I'll still train. Um not as heavy or as much as I probably would um in my usual state, but um I I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> but I think I'll give probably comp a bit of a break. But I do wanna get to the point where I've got a couple of them before I start a family because even when we've got a family I still want to go down the road of still doing that again I want to come back properly after you I think I'll still train I want to have had a baby as well but it's not to extent of comp ready I think I'll still maintain what I need to maintain see so, yeah, that's just a couple of questions that probably a lot of people ask me <laughs> um regards to what i do but um the basics of basically this um this whole channel is just to um record my um my experience on it all yeah it's um it's gonna be a process and it's gonna be a long one and i'm here for the ride it doesn't matter how fast or quick i get there um or just get there sorry 
yeah, I'm gonna try and get a video out every single week, whether that's on a Monday or a Sunday or a Tuesday. I'm gonna at least get one out at least every week um, and do snippets of what I've actually worked on in the gym. So I've took a couple today that I may include in this video. So um, yeah, this may be at the end, I don't know. Maybe in the middle, I don't know. But today was a good session. It was a really good session. Overall, my day has actually been really good. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> the only thing I recommend is if you're ever going to go into anything like this, you have to mentally prepare yourself more than physically, because it doesn't matter what job you work or what's going on in your life, you have to kind of just keep keep yourself focused. So like, I work in hospitality. Um, I'm part of management of hospitality. Um, I work Sunny Down the Road. I've got a really good manager who's really understanding. Um, he knows what I'm into, he knows my hobbies, so it's, you've got to have that support behind, like, my whole family support me, um, my mum's constantly asking me, you know, if I need anything, um, uh, my dad's asking me how my training is, and if I ever feel like I, I'm going to fall off, my family said they'll, they'll push me towards not to do that, so, that's one thing that you have to have, you have to have a really supportive background, and if you have a partner, like, a really good supportive partner through this, because it's not, just an easy thing to do it's not an easy thing to just get into you can't just wake up one day and, oh i'm gonna go prep for a body competition it's not that easy but you know we'll see how we do i don't know how i'm gonna end videos but we're just gonna go with this and hopefully you guys enjoy the journey with me i think i'm gonna get myself some sleep um but if there's anything you guys want to see on this channel please feel free you'll get it all on here i'm not the type of person to be very really fake i'm i'll say it as it is it'll be like exactly how it is if my week has been rubbish my week's been rubbish i haven't tried a lot that week i will tell you guys what's going on it's just one of the things like as this channel's gonna hold so i'm gonna go probably get into bed probably the i eat my yogurt i didn't have for breakfast because i completely forgot um and then probably just wind down. So whatever you're doing this week, have a good week. Enjoy a couple of videos in this video. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy. <laughs>